It's not just about football, it's the growth mindset that we are after. I hope to really inspire and encourage these girls and just kind of motivate them that they can be uh, amazing athletes if they really want to be. When we started, there was a need for the players to have a positive environment. But we wanted to be the best. We are not there yet, but we are working towards that. We started officially in 2015, 16th of March 2015. Oh, it's been uh, a hell of a ride. We never thought we'd be growing this big in just a short time. If you compare girls football here right now to two years ago, there has been so much improvement. Part of it is because of the football hype in the world, with the World Cup happening, female world, women's World Cup, and also the support that the Dubai government is providing us, and also the UAE government. Now, uh, the problem a few years ago was that there were ba barely any club who could offer them that um, environment where they can play. When I was growing up, I didn't really have a chance uh, to play in a team or a football club. So uh, I didn't really also, I didn't have any uh, female role models to look up to. You can relate to, 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 to a female role model. So I think it's an important part of the development of the game in, uh, in the UAE. So when I was younger, I was the only girl playing in a boys team. And I didn't even know that there was girls football available. So there was girls leagues. So when I found that out, even when we played and we had England scouts coming to watch us, there wasn't the provision that there is today. I played with my brothers and my cousins. Uh, I also just practiced on my own most of the time. Um, it was much later, uh, until I was in university, I was able to play with the university team. See, my parents weren't really against me playing. Uh, it just started off as a hobby, you know, I was just playing. There was no women's football back then. There was no national team. Uh, so I was just playing a sport. Um, over the years, I guess, uh, uh, I had some opportunities to play some competitions here and there. Uh, it was still a hobby. My parents weren't really against it, but it's still kind of difficult for them to accept. Even now, all across the world, stereotypically, girls should not be playing a men's sport, which I think is, is really devastating because women's football has come on so much. I mean, I hope over the years this is going to change. It's kind of a taboo to, to have their, their girls play uh, sports at that level at our, or at a pro level. Now, when it comes to football, because the mindset that unfortunately has been put in their head is that you are not good enough to play football. Girls cannot play. Girls cannot kick the ball. I mean, we hear all these things. So I hope that changes. I mean, we, I hope to just promote the game and we can hopefully change that uh, society's uh, perception of uh, women in sports. And right now, we have the platform for them to come and play. The platform, of course, is dominated by female coaches. Coaches that have been doing it, coaches that are qualified, and coaches that, are, that were international footballers. So a lot of the times we have uh, girls that start off, uh, join, and you see so much uh, potential and skill. Um, but after a short period of time, the parent or the dad might see that, uh, no, I don't want my girl to be playing football or whatever, but having uh, role models and female coaches really helps um, kind of build a uh, trust uh, with the parents and just kind of show them that, no, it's okay, you're in good hands, you know, and uh, it's a good environment uh, for these girls. And it helps kind of convince them. Well, one of the things that uh, we really focus on is educating parents about what we do for the kids. On a bigger scale, we focus on character building and personal development of girls. Alliance also, uh, football club also provide them with the opportunity to play in, uh, in football leagues and tournaments, which is very important, I think, uh, in the development of football in the country. From players who are three or four, all the way to 18, 19 year olds, whoever comes inside the club understands that uh, it's not just about football, it's the growth mindset that we are after. Whatever you do, you do it at your best, it doesn't matter how good it is, as long as you give it the best try. When they come and play football, especially from a young age, they gather and accumulate experience, whether it's technical or whether it's on a bigger scale of game understanding. 
The more they do that, the more empowered they are. So when you know that you can play football as good as boys, imagine what it does to your head later on when you go into university and you have to compete with boys in terms of the academic sports. Or later on when you get a, get a professional uh, job. If they can load all these things in their head and understand that I can deal with any problem, I can deal with any disappointment, I can just get up and get on with the game, of course it helps them as a person and as a lady as well. I can think of um, two sisters that um, joined us maybe five years ago. Now they joined us at the age of 10 and 11. These girls had a lot of trouble at home. Their parents were getting a divorce. So when they came to us, uh, one of the parents told me, you know what, I just want her to get out of that environment and play sports so she can forget. Now what happened was that these girls they train four times a week, and eventually they got better and better in terms of a footballer. But at the same time, they got away from all the stress and problems that they had at home. One of them, one of them last year, got a professional contract. So that is for me very interesting because it wasn't just about football. It wasn't a girl who trained and became a footballer. It was more of, you know what, I'm going through hell at home, but I'm leaving everything behind coming to kick the ball, interact and play and have a good time. But at the same time, she got so good that she ended as a success story.